Hi guys, this is Jacob with C3 Restoration Services and today I wanted to show you how our dehumidifier works. So this is a large size dehumidifier. We also have an extra large, but this is good for most containments, you know, possibly even two small room containments and for general uses for dry down following water damage. This is our main machine for dry down. We use the Contair brand. Um, this brand is affordable. We've had this for about two and a half years. It works great. I haven't had any problems and we do um, use it heavily. You know, there are more expensive brands and brands with better reviews, but we like the Contair based on the performance and overall value. Now how this operates, on the front here is a refrigerant. So this gets very cold, like a freezer box. And then while our axial fans are moving the air, kicks the moisture into the air, um, it condenses on this refrigerant. There's also a filter here. Uh, this is a cleanable filter, you know, a compressor or a shop vac. Um, some other machines have seen a pleated one, which you have to change out the filter. So that's one perk. Here are our controls, and I'll get into that after we plug it in. On the back side, we have our exhaust, um, a good cable holder for the power cord, and also uh, the drain line here. Um, these also do disconnect if you have to put it in a smaller area. So let's go ahead and turn it on, I'll show you guys. So once plugged in, it lets you know that you do indeed have power. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Just hear the refrigerant kick on. So this number is your targeted relative humidity in the air. It also has a sensor um, that shows you the current relative humidity in the air. So it's 57% currently, and our goal is 27%. You can adjust this with these arrows. You know, whatever your, your goal is. Uh, for most of our projects, we use the lowest relative humidity and that's set to continuous. So that doesn't use a sensor and it's pretty much just using this machine and it's full power to completely dry the surrounding area. And CO stands for continuous. Um, this exhaust fan, it does get kind of hot. Um, sometimes that does help the drying process, but you could also put a tube vent on this. It vents it outside of your containment. Um, this is already getting cold. I could feel uh, air being drawn inside of it. So if I were to leave this in here for a couple days, set a containment, um, this number would drop down, constantly be dropping. And then once you turn it off, once you've reached your goal, you hit power again, and you can see this purging, purging comes on. So now what purging is, is it releases all the moisture built up inside the machine and releases it through this tube. So if I were to leave this in here, it would be slowly um, discharging water out of here. So you could put this in a drain pipe, you could put this in a bucket outside your containment. Um, it's relatively long, it's at least about 20 feet. And this, this will let you know when it's completely done purging, this will shut off as well. So now you have these two buttons up here, P and T. P stands for purging as well. Um, this lets you purge the machine while it's still running as opposed to turning it off and letting it do it automatically. Um, and then T is for timer. So here, you have a timer for up to 486 minutes, which is about eight hours. So let's say uh, your client doesn't want to hear this noisy thing running at night. So you can set it for eight hours, and then that way no one would have to be inside of your containment, and it'll shut off automatically. And you can return the following day and turn it back on. Um, so this is a great option, you know, if you do have some, some picky clients or clients that are very susceptible to, to sound, you can turn it off in the nighttime. So that's it guys, want to keep it short and sweet. If you do have any questions, um, please drop a comment below. You can also check us out on Instagram or Facebook to see some of the projects that we've done with this. Um, and please like and subscribe to our channel as well, and thank you for watching.